Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sean or Mustang09, bringing you another truck video. And today we're starting Project Chrome Delete. So as you can tell, we have chrome on the mirror caps, chrome on the door handles, chrome on the grill and the bumpers. We're gonna break it down into a series of events. The first we're gonna do is the handles. I'm gonna show you guys how to pop the chrome caps off of your handle assembly. It's super simple, no tools needed, just your hands. And we'll go inside and give an attempt at vinyl wrapping these, fingers crossed. So we'll start over here. We're gonna start on the, uh, the rear door. What you want to do is you're going to pull from the back part of the handle. So here you can see the bed of the truck, obviously front of the truck's on the other end. The, do the truck is locked so that you can manipulate the handle without opening the door. That is key. So you're going to pull this to towards you, lift up on the top and down on the bottom, and you'll feel a void in there where the assembly's not. And you're going to just separate those while pulling towards you. It's playing. There we go. Wiggle room with us. And then you have your chrome cap off. You can see here, it's only held on by these two little clips here. And when you look on the handle, come closer, and we can show them, it clips on right back there. So there's a little guide rod there. Other than that, it would just push back on. So we're gonna take the rest of the handles off, go inside and try to vinyl wrap these. Now that we have our handles off of the truck, we're simply just gonna rinse them under the water, wipe them down real good just to make sure there's no dirt grime on there and make sure that they're really, really dry so that when we go to put the vinyl on, there's nothing in between the vinyl and the handle that's gonna prevent the vinyl from sticking or leave bumps or just unsightly marks on the vinyl laying down. So just some cool water. I'm just gonna rub it down and uh, make sure they're all clean. Alrighty guys, so I have given this a shot off camera just to uh, kind of practice. Courtney has given it a shot and uh, this is Courtney's version of it. Mine was not anywhere near this good, so I went ahead and tore mine off. But uh, Courtney's is better and we're slowly figuring it out. We're not um, as good as we thought we were, but uh, we're, we're learning. So what we think we're gonna have to do is put a little slit in each of the corners where the bins are just to be able to manipulate the wrap around a little better. So as you can see here, it looks good from this distance, but when we bring it further, you'll notice there's a little hiccups here and there, little bubbles there, but uh, we're gonna rip it off and try it again. We don't have unlimited vinyl, so we're gonna make it work for now. And I wanna show you guys on the truck so that we can get a good visualization of what this is gonna look like. And if I'm completely unsatisfied with it, then I'm gonna hit up a, a wrap shop, some, somebody that does this professionally and go and get it done. The other option is to buy the paint to match handles and you, you can buy uh, like factory paint in a, in a spray can, just in a, like a spray paint can, aerosol can. So that's also an option. We can prep them real nice, uh, put some primer down on them, sand them down, and then spray them with some paint to match. So, and those handles, I believe are only like $5 a piece. So you're talking 20 bucks for that and probably 20 bucks for paint materials. So $40 and you could have some paint to match stuff. And that will also allow us to do the mirror caps. So those are an option. I'd also have to buy the mirror caps too. So maybe another 10 bucks for those. So not, not too bad, but uh, I wanna try this out. Uh, give it another go. We're both gonna do it. So uh, stay tuned. We're gonna give it a shot and uh, we'll give you an update when we're done with our second round. So let's do it. Real quick, I know I'm gonna get asked what uh, vinyl we're using. This is the Scotch Cal 220 film. Don't know much about um, vinyl wrap, but it's made by 3M. So uh, it says Gerber Scientific Product. So fancy. Anyways, we've got our, our, our other piece cut here. I need to cut this in half, and that way we can give it another go. We also have this Harbor Freight heat gun here. I got a deal on it. I went there, it said it was $21.99, went to check out and it was like 15 bucks, so even better. I'm not one for buying cheap tools, but I don't come across needing a heat gun super often, so uh, this will do the job and it's proven to do good right now. It's got a bunch of different uh, heat ranges you can set it to and it's also nice because it sits on its back like that and you can work over top of it, so we'll be using this along the way. Now, we're gonna kick off the time lapse and we're gonna get started on wrapping our door handles, so here we go.
just so you guys can see a close up, this is uh, what we're working with here. The edges, of the turns back here are really difficult to not get any wrinkles in it. But uh, it's like it starts off really smooth and then it gets these little bitty tiny bubbles in it that you can tell. So um, definitely, this one's mine. It was horrible on the edges. You can see the wrinkles on it from stretching too much. And then Courtney has really got it down on some of those, but it's just the little bitty things and then it kind of just goes poo poo. This is definitely a skill that I think you can learn a little bit, but I think it's a talent you're born with. And to the people that can do this, props to you because this is not easy at all. Uh, finding it very, very difficult. And I'm sure there's some tricks of the trade that make it a little easier, but you've got to have some talent to do that. But there are the black handles. Courtney's working on the fourth one. That's the tricky one. That's the one that's got the hole in it for the keyhole for the driver's side. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, she had a really good start to it. So I'm hoping uh, she'll be able to knock it out and make it look smooth. <laughs> That's awful. What? Uh, like right when you zoomed in, it did a big wrinkle. Good job. You're painting your fingernails? Ooh, you got it on your arm. Yeah. Watch your hair. Don't get it in your hair. Rex! There's a puppy update for you guys. Hi, bud. Can you sit? Sit. Rex, sit. Good boy. Rex, speak. 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 Woo! Good boy. Slowly but surely, he's learning. And just as we thought, the fourth handle, the driver's side one with the keyhole in it, proved to be very, very difficult. They all proved to be difficult. None of this was a super easy process. I just don't think we have it in us. I don't think we're vinyl wrappers. I'll take making videos and putting lift kits on and all that all day, but wrapping stuff with a sticker is not my forte. So I'm gonna put them on the truck anyways because I wanna give you guys the vision. I want you guys to see what I'm seeing in my head with the blacked out door handles. Let's just wait for tomorrow. We'll get more daylight. It's, it's evening time now. We had a good family fun day Sunday. Uh, we all hung out and just uh, and did what we do. We took a lot of pictures, family pictures, pictures of the houses. We're gonna be in a magazine, guys. Um, yeah, so looking for that in the future. If you live in Arlington or Mansfield, out in the Texas area, keep your eyes peeled for a magazine. We might be in that. But uh, <laughs> other than that, I'm gonna put you on pause. It's only gonna take a second for you guys, but for us, it's gonna take a whole night's sleep. Then we'll be back up in the morning, put these door handles on, and uh, there's another modification to the truck. You saw it earlier. I don't know if you caught it and I'm gonna point it out to you. So we'll see you guys here back just a little bit. Alrighty guys, it's the next day. We're gonna to try to install this handle back on the truck so that you guys can see my vision for what a black handle on a black truck looks like. Alrighty, so hopefully you guys can tell, here's the black handle on the truck. I just think it looks so much better, all dark and blacked out than it does with the chrome. Fortunately, the wrap didn't go as planned for us. Um, I don't know. We're not gonna stick with it. I'm gonna go ahead and peel the others off and we're gonna put the chrome handles back on. I just don't see myself rolling around with something that's not finished exactly how I like it. So we're gonna peel this one off, peel the others off, stick the handles back on. And I got a quote for a vinyl wrap job for the handles and the mirror caps, and it was way more expensive than what I thought. It was, uh, it was insane. I think I could have got paid somebody to paint them for what that wrap job cost. So I'm gonna go the route of the paint to match. I'm gonna see what that looks like. And uh, hopefully I can find somebody that's already got them painted and stuff that I can just buy online. But I did look last night, found some for 300 bucks, which is just, I don't know. That just seems super crazy high to me, $300 for some door handles and uh, some mirror caps. So, so we'll see. I'm going to take this one back off and uh, yeah, put the chrome stuff back on the truck. It's unfortunate this didn't work out, but you live and you learn some things. I don't know. Just leave to the professionals. But uh, we're going to get this stuff peeled off here and put them back on the truck. And I need to point out that modification that I did that I haven't really talked too much about. So get these unwrapped. And you can see this stuff comes off super easy. So it's not, not really anything lost here. Um, we did learn from it. So we gained some knowledge that vinyl wrapping is not for my wife or I. Uh, Courtney is much better at it than I am, but we're still not professionals. So it is what it is. I will put it out there though that if anybody has black door handles, and they want to trade for chrome door handles, let your boy know. Same goes for mirror caps. 
If you've got a black truck, 2017, 2018 F250, F350, and you want to swap out, just let me know, and uh, I will make it happen. I will actually pay for shipping both ways, so just keep me posted. You let me know. And also, if you're in the DFW area and you want to do the trade, we can just meet up. I'll come to you. You can uh, take the stuff off somewhere, parking lot or something, swap it out. And I know I'm going to hear it in the comment section below, but Plasti Dip is not an option for me. I, I am not a fan of Plasti Dip at all. I just never had a really good experience with it. Done wheels a um, couple of times, done little parts of cars, and uh, just not really pleased with it. I've got a buddy that, that did it on his. He didn't really care for it, but I do know some guys that are really good with it, and they do a good job and they spray it professionally, but for me, it's just, I want something a little more permanent. And I say that even though I'm taking off this vinyl wrap, I know vinyl wrap's not permanent, but uh, it was an easier option for me that I could give it a shot myself and see. So I think that since this didn't work, we'll, we'll go that paint, or, that paint to match route and give that a shot. Like I said, those door handles are like $4 a piece. So you're talking 20 bucks for, for all the door handles. And I'll have to see how much the mirror caps are. I'm not real sure. Um, I haven't, I gotta get a part number for those. About 10 minutes later, all of the vinyl is off of the handles. So there they are guys. Uh, handles are back on. And I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but many of you were asking, when are we gonna put tent on the front windows? And we now have that. So we have 30% up front. It is ceramic tent, so it's really gonna block the heat for us out here in Texas because this sun is blazing hot. And I also did an eyebrow, that's 5% tent up there, which looks really good. And I can already tell a difference in the truck when we're in it driving around or when it's been sitting out front of the house and I just hop in it at the first time of the day, it's already cooler than what it was before. So truck is uh, looking good with a dark tent. Unfortunately, their handle wrapping didn't work out like I wanted it to, but as opposed to looking at it as a fail, it was also a good time to hang out with my wife, uh, get her involved in the cars. She doesn't really like get too much into it with me like that, but uh, she likes driving and riding in them, but as far as working on them, eh, she'd rather do something else. But it was cool to have her involved and, and working with me and helping me out. So if you guys liked the video, make sure to hit a thumbs up. If you got a question or comment, leave that down below. Always enjoy replying to you guys and seeing what you guys have to say. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit subscribe. New truck videos, new Mustang videos coming soon. And the shirts should be printing this week. So if you pre-ordered your shirt, you can be expecting those. If you haven't ordered one, hit the link uh, in the description below. There's one up here, but also down below, moostang09.com. Pick up a shirt. Also got some sweet koozies in there. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you back here next time. Take it easy.